good. How is everyone today? Welcome, welcome, welcome. So I am your host, Raquel May David. I am here to support you with all things Dispute Panda on tonight. We're going to do stuff just a little bit differently. So we're going to allow some people to come into the room. I know it's 8 o'clock, so we're going to give people about 10 minutes to kind of get in. If you have any questions, concerns, or comments, right now you can open the floor and ask. Um, for everyone that's coming in, if you can drop a one, if you're brand new to the system and you don't have the system at all, a two, if you have the system, a three, if you have the system and you have used it already. So I know where everyone is. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Galaxy, is it Sosa? Is that how you say it? Is it Mr. Sosa? I see your video, but I can't hear you. Sorry about that. Galix, how you doing tonight? Do you have any questions for us? Hey, I see your audio's on. How are you today, Mr. Hello. Sosa? Hi. Hey, how you doing? Good. Do you have any questions while we're waiting for everyone to pile on in here tonight? Oh, no, I'm just, that's my first time tonight, you know. I've been receiving mails the past few weeks. I never get a chance to get into it. But today, I uh, say, you know what, I got to slide in to see, uh, the whole, to hear the whole thing, you know, before I start asking questions. Okay, so you weren't um so you don't have the platform at all as of yet, is that correct? Oh, I do have it. I do have it. I don't really okay. use it yet. <laughs> I, I, okay. I, I okay, so you have the platform, you just haven't done any letters as of yet. No. No. Okay. Cool, cool beans. All right. So at least I know. So that's a two that you have. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna cover some questions. So if you have questions about the platform or if you've looked at it, you're kind of like, hey, I'm kind of lost. I'm gonna open the floor again until about 8, 10 for everyone to be able to answer. So if you think of any questions, definitely feel free to let me know. Galax, okay, if you can thank you. Galax, if you could tell me if you are brand new to the platform, you could drop a one. If you can't come off of mute, you could drop a one. If you have the platform, drop a two. And if you have the platform and you have sent a letter out, drop a three for me in the chat so I know where you are. Alrighty, just waiting for some more people to come in and then we can dive in. If you guys have any questions or you can't come off of mute, please go ahead and drop it in the chat while we're waiting for everyone to come on. Um... Awesome. Yeah, it's low today. It's very turn off the lights. Light a candle. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it's very boom, 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 boom. The lighting is interesting. If you guys have any questions while we're waiting on everyone to come in, please, please, please let us know. Um, Galaxy, if you can let me know if you already have the platform, it'd be greatly appreciated because that's going to dictate kind of how we move when we get started. I would love to know um, where everyone is. If you have the, if you don't have the platform, drop a one. If you have a platform, drop a two. If you have the platform and have used the platform, drop a three. Let me see. I'm gonna start sharing. Thank you, Galaxy. One second. Share. 
Alrighty. So now we can get into it. We're going to give just a few more minutes before we get started. And so we are starting on the main page. Um, just to go over, we are covering the world's most advanced and effective AI powered credit repair software. Um, oh, I'll tell you since I said, what's up? What's up? So excited. So excited. So we are covering this view panda on tonight. I'm going to show you guys how to dis how to sign up for the platform how easy it's gonna be. I'm also gonna show you how to load a client in and do your first round of disputes for free. I'm gonna tell you how to do that for free. I'm also gonna tell you what the software looks like. So technically, in all actuality, you can actually be doing this for free. So the only thing that you'd be paying for are the paper, the ink, and the envelopes um if you are on the free platform so we're going to talk about pricing what the difference is between the free and the pro um we're going to start in two minutes because i like to to give time honey we got to give time oh let me set my do not disturb because i always forget to do that y'all and then they be disturbing me okay the goal is to make sure that everyone is learning together having fun and we're able to execute this system seamlessly um, and I'm going to try and be mindful of the time because if y'all have questions, I'm going to stop. I'm going to answer, okay? So you can drop your questions in the chat. I do have my admin that's with me, um, Jane, who's in the chat. So any questions that need to be answered, if I'm running my mouth, she'll hit it for me as well. And support. No questions? No questions coming in? Okay. All right, it's 18. So let's get into it, y'all. So thank you guys so much for coming in tonight and giving me your time. We are going to get started on the ground level, which is pricing. So the the tabs that we're going to cover right now is going to be pricing, training, and contact. Once we get into the platform, we're going to dive into more content. We're going to go over the full screen, all of the settings, all of the bells and whistles that you get into the platform. But I want to start from the beginning. So Dispute Panda is the world's first pay-as-you-go platform that is free to sign up. So what that means is if you have no clients for the month, then you have no overhead. There are a majority of the platforms that are out there, you have to pay to have access to the platform. And what Dispute Panda said was, instead of you paying to have access to the platform, we're going to only charge you for, to, for you to get access to the actual letters. So if you, for instance, have, let's say you worked you, your mom, your dad, your sister, right? You only worked them. Or if you're a company and you graduate everyone out of the platform, then you would not have to pay monthly for the free platform. You will be able to still house your client's information. You would still be able to see the letters, all of those things, but you would not be paying for access to this particular platform you will only be paying for the letters that are going to be generated. Now, as I stated earlier, I am going to teach you how to dispute um, using the platform without having to pay that $17. So that means if you have the free platform, you and I are going to be going through today and we are going to be discussing how to dispute without paying a dollar at all through the process, okay? So that's number one. Number two, we do have a paid platform. Now, there's a question in the chat that says, you may not know about Credit Repair Cloud. Chat, I've been doing Credit Repair for 19 years. I started with credit. 
So I started with Excel and then I found out about CRC. So yeah, we know about them, but I'm comparing your system to theirs, just trying to get enough information to see who's better fit for me. Definitely understood. Um, I do, I again, I've left CRC a long time ago. Hey, Miss Connie girl, welcome. <laughs> welcome to the room. Um, CRC is, is a different software than ours. You do have a monthly service uh, with CRC. I do believe that CRC started doing um, Metro Two Letters, which we do as well. Um, however, I, I just personally left them because of the overhead that it was to just have their particular platform. And I have been successful with using Dispute Pen and I've been with them for over a year, personally. Um, so... Let's dive in. So the pro platform, which is $197 a month, it gives you, you can do the trial, uh, $1 trial for 14 days, and then it's $197 thereafter. There are several perks that come with the pro platform. One of them is you have a safe client access portal. So if your clients want to log in, they want to see what their disputes look like, what their, not disputes, but what their process looks like, like what their scores are, what's changed from last month to this month, they have access to a full dashboard. That's what I'm looking for. That gives them that information. So in reality, you have that ability when it comes to the 197 package. Also, you have the integration. So if you have an email platform, so I particularly, I use um, a software by the, the name of Dispute Flow. Dispute Flow does all my automation. So when my clients come in and book a call, it automatically sends them a text message. It sends them an email. It sends them the link that they need to sign up to get their credit monitoring. It also sends them an updated email that says, hey, um, if don't forget to send your um, credit monitoring link for us to have the call. And then it sends them another reminder about an hour before the call that says, hey, if you don't get the... Um, credit monitoring information over, then the appointment will be canceled because I can't, I can't have a consultation if I don't have the credit monitoring information, right? So I have that sequence. So with the pro version, I'm able that whenever a client books a call, they get put, they get put in the dispute panda platform, but they also get put in my system as a lead. And then once they go from a lead to an actual client, all of these nurturing emails go out to the client for me. Um, so that's the software that I'm personally use, using to support and it's integratable through Zapier. And that's only an option if you have the pro. So you have the client access portal, you have the Zapier integration. You also get an update where you can turn it into a shareable link on your social media platforms. So I will go ahead and show you guys that later as well. And the number, to me, I call it the number one major thing that I love about uh, Dispute Panda is that when you are on the pro platform, if you're using Dispute Panda and you're using Credit Dino as your credit monitoring software, then you have the ability to get letters, not just to the three major credit reporting agencies, but to the creditors as well. So it's like a whole situation. Um, so that I definitely love. And I'll show you guys within the system what it looks like so that you will have a full robust idea of how it works. Um, Jamal, welcome. Katrina, hey girl. Mr. Smith, welcome back. We appreciate you coming up in here today. All right, so the pro, they do have a yearly option. If you apply for the yearly, you then go ahead and get two months for free. Want to jump into the training because... Um, our software, again, what separates us from a lot of other competitors is that the very first thing that we do when you get the software, whether it's free or it's paid, you have the ability to download the free guide. The guide is telling you what sequence of letters to select. So if you are in the I am learning credit repair stage, you actually get the ability to go into the system and know what letters to pick how often do you send them out? When do you send letters to the other credit reporting agencies that hold our information? 
And when should you file a CFPB complaint in the process? So we're giving you all of that information right out the gate if you are brand new to credit repair. So I know that there's some people in here. Um, for the new people that just came in the room, if you can drop a one if you're brand new to the platform, meaning you don't have it as of yet, a two if you have it, and a three if you have it and you have used it. Thanks, Jamal. If y'all like me some Jamal, Jamal's on it. Okay, Jamal said, "I'm get, let me get into it. Train Bean, do you have any questions for me, Jamal, before we uh, continue? Connie, I not thought yet. you have the platform. Not yet. not yet, not yet. Okay, no worries. I'll be here when you do, okay? All you got to do is raise your hand. It, what they say, that commercial said, raise your hand if you're sure. <laughs> I remember that commercial? Yeah. I'm a little vintage. Don't judge me. <laughs> Look, I'm a little vintage. Don't y'all judge me out here in these straights. Um, okay. Okay, three then. Not sure how to use it. <laughs> so you're a two. What what have you sent out your letters yet, Connie? No? Okay. So gotcha. All right. So we're gonna, we're gonna. So Connie, since you're here today, today, on today, I know you're by your computer, right? You're you're by your computer. You've already loaded yourself in the system. On today, the challenge that I'm giving Connie, because Connie has been here before, I'm going to give Connie the challenge that if you go and actually complete your letters today, you send me an email, I will personally give you a free gift. Personally send you a free gift. And I'll let you pick out of two options what the free gift is that you want. So, um... Johnne, if you can drop in the chat my email address, the subject line has to be, I did it and I need proof. I need proof. I need to see envelopes. I need to see something, okay? So Connie is in the running for a gift, y'all, if Connie gets done today. And I mean, I need to see, not the whole letter. I just need to see the top of the letter that say today's date. All right, Connie? Because we going to get in here and get on bad, Connie. All right. All right. So, uh, sorry, guys. I Listen, I love for y'all to be here. And I want to make sure that while y'all are here, you guys are getting all the good juices, but also applying. You guys come in and I want to make sure that you're getting all of the good stuff. But I want to make sure that at the end of the day, you're able to execute on the other side. Right. So what I was explaining, because I know that someone said that they were a one. That's Jamal. OK, Jamal is a one. So when you get the platform, when you get the dispute panda, actually before you even get the dispute panda, the first thing that we do in the training is we actually give you access to the guide. The guide is telling you what letters to pick, how often to send the letters out, and what a var what variation to send these letters out. This is an updated guide. And the reason why we created this new version of the guide is because we saw that people kept asking, well, do I have to send my letter certified? When do I talk to the, to the other credit reporting agencies? So we're organically gifting you that information straight out the gate, okay? Now you have to be Oprah and everybody gets a gift. Nope, nope, everybody not gonna get a gift on today. Well, it depends. You know, sometimes I give away gifts if we're very participant. What, what's the word? Participatory, participants. Particip participation, right? That's the word. <laughs> so if we get a lot of participation, then gifts get away. And then I do go into Oprah, you get a gift, you get a gift. But right now, the gift is going to be this free guide for right now, okay? I promise. I'm gonna get more gifts and I'm gonna give stuff away as we keep on having um classes. So it does give you the guide. And as you scroll down, it also tells you how to use the platform. So if for some reason I'm not here, even though customer service is 24 hours a day, seven days a week, customer service is email-based. So if you're like, hey, I'm having a problem, I don't really remember how to dispute, you can actually watch the video on how to select the, the, the items that you want to dispute and what that looks like. So I am here every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday for my pros. Um, Customer service is here 24 hours a day, seven days a week via email. Um, but I do want to give you guys real-time options that you can leverage just in case, okay? So if you guys are by your computer right now, the very first thing that I need you to do is click on the training tab. 
This is also inside the platform. So if you are in Dispute Panda, you can click on the training tab on the left side. It's the second to last option. And you're going to hit training. It will open up this page and you're going to click free download and you're going to download your guide. That is going to help you if you are a baby in the credit repair space, okay? Boom, 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 dynamite. The next thing we're gonna go to is the contact tab. The contact tab is for you to reach customer service. You can ask anything from rounds of attack, subscription questions, client issues, account issues. One of the things that I like to drop here are tools that helps you guys be great. One of them is loom.com. It's L-O-O-M. So Lima, Oscar, Oscar, Mike. Um, loom.com gives you the ability to record your screen for up to five minutes. You get an actual link that you can then like embed right here. And then when the person clicks on the link, you get a message that lets you know your video has been watched. I use this for my VAs so I can see when they looked at the video. That way I can gauge when I should follow back up with them. And if I'm talking to customer service or tech support, I also send that video out to them because it gives me an ability to track on when I should hear back from them, right? If you are utilizing this for your customers, which I do, I create a five minute video every single month for my clients that just says, hey, here's your update, here's your information. And I send that to them via text message as well as via email. So that way they have the accessibility to watch the video on the go. And then I get the alert when it's watched. Let's be clear, if they don't watch it, I know too, because I ain't getting no alert. Okay, let's go. Just wanna give you a little tip. Um, if you have general questions, like you wanna know about press, you wanna know about partnership, anything of that nature, you can go ahead and select that option, drop it in here and customer support will funnel it to the right team that will be able to help. So going back to pricing, free platform is free 99. The only thing that you're paying for is for the letters every single month. I am going to show you how to make sure that you are also not paying for the letters on the free platform on today. The other option is the pro, which is $1 for 14 days and then $1.97 thereafter. Just for reference, there's no caps on how many clients you can have in the software. So it's not like, oh, you can only have 10 and then you have to upgrade to pro, okay? We don't cap you. We like you to have fun over here in, in, in Club Panda. Any questions before I go into the sign up portion? Let me know, let me know. Hmm. Any questions before I get started, guys? Nope. Thank you so much, Jamal. See, I like the participation. I like, come on, tell me now. Tell me, say, go ahead, Annabelle, go ahead. Thank you, Connie. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and register an account on today for us to sign up. Um, one thing that I want to tell you is that if you're utilizing the system, and this is, this is an advice in the coaching realm that I give to everyone. If you are util utilizing this platform for yourself or for um, your family and friends, or if you're doing this as a business, you still want to put yourself in the platform so you know how the platform is working. Now, several things that you want to pay attention to is you cannot have the same email address as the owner of the platform and the user. So for instance, um Ga galaxy i think galaxy said yeah galaxy if you can tell me what your name is i can stop calling you galaxy i promise i'll behave um but galaxy is saying that you know they're looking between two different platforms right so let's say they already have galaxy score.com that's their business is galaxy score um they can go ahead and have Galaxy Score as the actual account holder. So Galaxy Core um, support at galaxyscore.com. And then he would put himself in, let's say his name is John, and it will be John at gmail.com. It has to be two different emails in the system. One is the person who owns the account, and then the other is you putting yourself in as a client. Recommendation is to always put yourself in as a client so you know what the letters look like, you know what the process is like as you're going through the platform, okay? So we are going to go ahead and um, get rich at fakeville.com. There we go. 
there we go i like it you're going to put your phone number in now you can use the same phone number for the business as you're doing it the personal if for some reason it's the same number um right here on the company name if you do not have a company name then the system is going to automatically default to just your first and last name so you don't have to worry about that all right so i'm gonna tell y'all this i like free i like announcements i like exclusivity so thus and therefore, anytime I get an option to go ahead and get an email, special offer, special products or whatever, I what I take it. I sure do. Completely up to you if you check that box. You do have to check the box so that you agree to the terms and service. It will then take you into the next screen. And on that next screen, you're going to have the dispute panda service agreement. I am not going to read that service agreement for you today, but definitely review it. What this does is it tells you what you should expect from Dispute Panda and also what Dispute Panda expects from you in order for you to process uh, dispute letters, right? The black bar at the top is for you to verify your email address. I want to point out that I'm not going to be verifying my email address because fake mail doesn't exist but i will still be able to move forward you guys want to go ahead and verify your email within the per i will say like around the 24 to 48 hour mark just for best practices okay give me one shaka one shaka cool all right so on the main page as soon as you get on the main dashboard because this is the dashboard tab let me switch the contact this is the dashboard tab you're going to see rounds, you're going to see missing documents, and you're going to see birthdays. So you can actually click and you can send your clients lovely emails like, happy birthday, girl. It's your birthday. It's your birthday, girl. That's how it goes, right? I'm, I'm assuming that's how it goes. Okay. So <laughs> you can send that to your clients. If you want to upgrade to the pro, you have the option to click that. But I'm going to talk about two ways to get drip money within your business. What that means is passive income that's coming into your business. You don't have to worry about doing anything extra at all. So one is this free credits. Free credits, you can sign up and you would get your own dedicated affiliate code that allows you to go ahead and refer other people to Dispute Panda platform. Once you refer other people to the Dispute Panda platform, you get the wonderful ability of actually getting credits and earning funds from those people signing up. So for instance, if you're a realtor or you're in the solar, um, right now people are selling sol solar panels and not everyone can financially afford it, but you have a friend that's selling solar panels in another area and they want to start a credit repair business, you can send them your affiliate link once it goes live. And whenever they sign people up under their company, you earn credits. So that's a simple way that if you're going into rooms and talking about credit anyway, you can drop your links and let them know how to get into it with you in real time, right? So you can hit accept and you're good to go. The other option is by clicking on Credit Dino. So Credit Dino is a credit monitoring software. A lot of people know Credit Hero, Smart Credit, Identity IQ, or MyScore IQ, which are, are good platforms. But the benefits that I love about Credit Dino are twofold. So number one, if my client is with Credit Dino under my affiliate link, I make $8, okay? Number two, if my client is signed up with Credit Dino, on top of me, me making $8, I also get a $17 credit every single month that my client keeps the monitoring service. So by default, that means that I am operating in the black right out the gate because I'm not paying for the dispute letters and I'm also getting paid $8. So that's $25 that I'm getting right off the bat just from them using the affiliate software, right? You can switch the packages so you can get paid as high as $22, but I have the basic package, which um, right now dispute um, Credit Dino is $39.99 regular. With me, they're only paying $29.99 if they have my affiliate link. I'm getting $8 plus a $17 credit for me to dispute the client for. So therefore, I'm disputing for free, okay? So this is something that you want to sign up for. You'll get the affiliate link and you can include it in your calendar link. You can make posts about, hey, have you checked your credit this week? All of the things, as my girlfriend would say, all of the things, okay? 
If you're looking to find your client, you would type your client's name here. Please be mindful that you have to have three characters in order for it to pull up the client's information. Or you can click on the client tab here. You'll be able to see your active clients, your inactive clients. If you are leaving one software to come here, you can bring it over with the CSV files. If for some reason you have an issue with the CSV files, don't fret. All you have to do is send that CSV file to info at disputepanda.com and they will pull import your clients for you, okay? Because we because we want you to win, okay? And if you want to get a new client, you would go ahead and upload the new client here. Um, We'll go over the client, adding a new client in a moment. I want to cover all the tabs on the side. So the letter tab is where you can go and you can see all the letters that have been sent out to your clients. Please be mindful that letters through the system go out same day if it's done by 12 p.m. PST. Um, if it's done after 12 p.m. PST, which is West Coast time, you know, over there with Snoop, Vegas, over there on that time. Um, if it's after 12 p.m., then it doesn't go out till the next business day. All right. Um, it does. The status does update if the only way for you to track the letters is by certified mail. Um Certified mail does cost more, so you would have to pay additional for that. But if you're not paying for the letters, right, you can choose to send the letters out. Again, the flow that's in the system right now is without certified mail, so it is not a requirement. But if you wanted to be able to track it, that is an option for you to handle, okay? And after we process the letters, I'll jump into my test account and show you guys how you can see um, what letters what the letters look like once they've been sent through the system, okay? So then inbox. The inbox is the safe client uh, communications that is available through Pro when the client gets a safe client access portal. We also have the reports tab. And I'm gonna show you guys what that reports tab looks like. Hang on one second, one second. So this is what the reports tab looks like. Um, this is on the company level. When you go to the pro, you get this on the company level as well as on the client level. So you're able to actually go into the system and you're able to see for each one of your clients what has increased, what has decreased, how much dollars have you been able to remove for your client. And then the system also gives you an option. If you look right here, it says share report. It actually gives you an option that you are able to take it and turn it into a shareable link. And if you upload your logo, your website information, your phone number, it will all print out on that form for you. And that way you can share on your social media platforms to say, hey, I'm out here in these credit streets winning. Okay. So I wanted to go ahead and show you that. So that's on the company level if you do it here. But when you go into the client tab and you have a client on the pro version, you're able to get that information as well. The subscription tab is where you can go and connect your merchant service. It's also where you can go to, um, to create your onboarding forms if you want to connect it to the website. And it's where you can create your payment forms um on the on the platform you also have access as i stated before to the training and the contact us tab directly from here okay when it comes to the settings there are two ways that you can gain access to the settings one way is by clicking on the balance bar and it will take you to the settings the other is clicking the three drop downs or the three dots and then clicking on settings. It will automatically take you into the settings tab where you're able to see some really cool information. So number one, if for instance, you started this account with a Gmail and then you said, oh wait, I'm doing this as a business and I wanna change my email address, this is where you would come under profile and change that information. You can also upload your photo. Please be mindful that the photo only applies when you have the pro so like everyone else can see it otherwise you're the only person that sees your photo but if you got a dope photo go ahead and drop it in there okay if you switch over from doing this as personal to business you can add your business logo you can also add your website and all that information because remember if you are going to the pro 
all of that information needs to be on there for your client access portal. And so that when you do your shares, all that information is located on the on that image for them to send out, right? For you to share on your social media post. If you have a contract, you you should have a contract. On the pro, you're able to put the contract here and it will automatically go to your clients once it's in the system. Anyone here need a sample contract? If so, let me know. I will drop it in the chat for you guys. Um, but this is where you put your contract and it will automatically send out to the clients for you once you've loaded them in the system with the client's information on it. And you have the ability to put in designated finders within the contract. So you're good to go there. If you have a team, so for instance, I have myself, I have a VA, I have my niece, I have my daughter. Um, instead of giving them my password, I can literally put them on as a team member, use their own email address, and that way they can log into the platform without me exposing my e password, username and password for them to have. The affiliate link is for all the credit monitoring options. So that gives you the option that if you want to use Credit Dino, Identity IQ, MyScore IQ, or Smart Credit, you're able to leverage. Sidebar, Smart Credit has changed the way that we download their information. So for those of you that may already be using Smart Credit, right now the connection between our system and their system talking to each other is completely down. So right now, what we are able to use is Identity IQ, MyScore IQ, and Credit Dino. If the connection continues to not work, we will send out an announcement to let everyone know that Smart Credit is no longer an option. But I wanted to let you guys know here, just in case anyone is watching on the replay and is saying we're having an issue with Smart Credit, we're aware, we're trying to work on it to have the communication back. But if it's not, if it's not available, we will be taking that option away, okay? Any questions so far on what I've gone over, guys? Let me know, let me know. All right. Let's go on to the disputing option. So the disputing option is where you can change the addresses for the actual credit bureau. So the credit bureau has anywhere from seven to 15 different addresses. So if you want to change which address you're sending everything to, you can actually come here, change the address. If you wanna send it to a different address every single month, you can choose to do that. Is that something to do that is a tactic that some people have done in the past? Contract, dropping it right now, my love. There's a copy of the sample contract. The billing option is where you can add your payment information, your dedicated payment information. What I would like to say is that if you're using this software for yourself and your family, the only credit card information that should be on here or debit card information is yours. So if you're if you're helping your family, let's say they're not using Credit Dino, they're using Identity IQ, they would need to pay you their $17 and you charge your card for the rounds of attack, Okay. If you want to upgrade to pro, you could do that here. But one of the great things that I like about this option is the subscribe and save. So what it allows you to do is to sign up to where you get billed monthly, either $20 or $60. And when you get billed, you're able to get 50% more, basically. So instead of getting just $20, you would get $30. And instead of getting $60, you would get $90. It gives you that ability for you to leverage. So let's say you are using Credit Dino for your credit monitoring, then you can have the system mail the letters out for you on your behalf, okay? If you have to run your own funds, like if you're like, okay, I ran out of my $20 or I ran out of my $30, then you would come into the system and you would manually order, you know, get it in bulk. I wanna clarify that what you get is going to be set at whatever you enter. So even though you're on a subscribe and save, you're not getting a 50% bonus because you're plugging the information in here. What I also want to point out is that the system sends out letters to the other credit reporting agencies, such as LexisNexis, LCI, Credco for you. Those letters are free, but only if you have at least $1 in the platform. The lowest amount that you can load at any given time is $20, okay? That's the lowest amount you can load. 
The invoice tab gives you the ability to do invoices, to, to see the invoices that are outstanding, any statements. If you are on Panda Pro, you can see the charges that are there. The activity tab tells you what letters have been sent out. If you have told the system to mail it out for you, you can see the mailing. And if you have any attack credit, which is what that $17 is if your client is on Credit Dino, you have the ability to go ahead and leverage that as well. The integration tab is what we were talking about where you can get Zapier. So if you load a client in here, it goes into your other platform and sends them an email or you can have it where if the person comes on the calendar, they get loaded into the system, right? It depends on how you want the system to communicate with each other. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and show you that. And the last option is the referral option for you to go ahead and get your referral link so you can make that drip money that I was talking about earlier. So any questions on anything that I've covered so far, I wanna go ahead and give room for us to double back before I load my um, test client in. Um, any questions, Ms. Andrews, Ms. Connie? My pleasure, my pleasure. Any questions, y'all? Thank you, Ms. Connie. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. All right. I'm going to drop this in the chat real quick. And then I am going to share here. All right. So the first thing that we need to cover before we even load a client in the system, y'all, is what documentation do we need in order to send the supporting, like as a supporting document for the letters that we are going to be disputing. Oftentimes we send the wrong documentation which creates havoc when we are trying to dispute. Please understand that there are different methods. Some people call it tactics, but there are different methods that you can leverage when doing credit repair. Back in the day, it was like once you got, if you wanted to remove all accounts, you can go ahead and just remove all the addresses. Sometimes that works, sometimes that doesn't. But one thing is for certain, and as I'm coaching you guys, I'm a little bit different than other credit quote unquote gurus that are out there. One of the biggest things that I definitely talk about when we are talking about credit repair is the holistic view of your client's profile. Because not only can that get them turned down for funding, can it get them turned down for housing, it can get them turned down for a job if there's too many busyness, as my mama would call it, busyness happening on the credit report. What that means is ideally at the very top of your client's credit report, the first thing you want to focus on is you want to have one name, one address, one date of birth that is listed on the profile. In order to do that, you have to make sure that the information that you're sending is consistent. The very first option that we opt to send for proof of identification is always the driver's license, okay? However, if your client has moved from Cali to New York, from New York to Kentucky, and even though that driver's license may be valid from the standpoint of it is an accurate like it's not hasn't expired. If they're not living there anymore, I don't care if they're in the same state. If they're not living there anymore, that driver's license should not be used as a supporting document when you are sending it off for the dispute with the dispute letters. Okay. So if the person used to live on 1414 Mockingbird Lane in Houston, Texas, and now they live on 2300 cross country trail in Houston, Texas. We are not using that driver's license. We are going to move on to something else. Social security card, paycheck stub. My personal favorite y'all is the passport, okay? I'm the nut, like I, I move way too often, okay? Because I like new stuff, okay? My husband get mad at me all the time. Um, I wanna say the longest I've ever stayed in one home was about seven years seven or 10 years is like my, my running, you know, from 
before after me being a child right I'm just a person that I do like to see what's new I have no problem trying out a new state a new country chat I done got up and moved all the way to Montana I have no problem seeing what what your covers look like over there so for me if I'm disputing something or if there's something I need to rectify I have no problem using the passport as my identification not necessarily my social security card and then whatever bill whether it's a bank statement or um, a cell phone bill for the new address that I'm living, okay? That is what you can put in supporting document. Best practice is if you're going to use a utility bill, such as a light bill, a water bill, a gas bill, please, please, please remember that the number one thing that you wanna do is you have to get an updated bill in the system every 60 to 90 days, because we all know that the credit bureau loves to go ahead and tell you what you... um this is a stall because we can't verify the address or that, you know, they will use a reason to stop you. So please use this as a rule of thumb when you are trying to ask your clients, your family, your friends on what documentation you need in order to dispute, okay? This, if you cannot find it because you're not on your computer, you're not able to download it. I literally did a screen grab from this documentation on how to add a client in dispute Panda credit repair software and get a free attack. Literally, that's where I found it. Okay. Um, welcome, loyalty tax. Hey, friend. Hey, welcome into the room. I appreciate when y'all show up. Uh, just send me a picture offline. Send me a picture offline. I like the nails. Um, so we are going to get started with the client tab and we are going to go to new client. Any questions on what we just spoke about? Okay, Mr. Smith said, how do I get my affiliate link for Credit Dino? So if you click on the dashboard and you click on become an affiliate on the main page, you will put your first name, last name, your email address, and the password. You would select sign up and it will automatically take you to the dashboard. If you already have, um, if you've already done that, when you click, when you come to this page, it will automatically ask you to go to the dashboard. And instead of it saying sign up, it will just say dashboard and it will take you to the dashboard and it will show you your credit monitoring uh, page. Great question. So you would sign up for, for Credit Dino on the homepage. Any other questions, guys, before we load my test client in? It is my pleasure, Mr. Smith. Any other questions, y'all? All right, so we're going to load my test client in. Now, as we are going through the system, you'll notice that the system is asking you for middle name. It's asking you for suffix. You don't necessarily need to add that in. If your client is, le is actually leveraging, let's say that they are Usher Raymond the seven. Okay. And they are, don't judge my life. Okay. Don't judge my life. If they are Chris Brown, the third, okay. You want, and they have that on their identification, they're actively using it. Then by all means go on there. The system is only going to require first name and last name. That is it. That is all. Okay. The email address, as I said, um, you have to use a different email address than the one you signed up with. The phone number is fine. And then you want to put the last four of the social. Now, once we get to the address, if they have a suite, a unit, a level, a floor, please make sure that's on the street address. Everything else needs to go in its des designated box accordingly. Um, take your time when you're filling this out because this information is actually going on the letters that are going to be going out for the client. If you have the pro version in order to send the client like the contract, the safe client access portal and things of that nature, you'd simply click this box and it will automatically um, send it out to your client once you hit save. If you do not have pro, it ain't gonna do nothing. See, it's gonna tell you mind your business. Sit down, go somewhere else. All right, I'm gonna go somewhere. I'm gonna say. Now, once we are in the platform, it is going to ask for the documentation. Okay, you are going to grab your client's information. If they have anything that is 
on a big sheet of paper. The goal is to make sure that we are not, we are running a business for profit, not non for profit. Okay. So for profit, I need to make sure I lower my overhead. The goal is to get the identification on one to no more than two pieces of paper. So if they gave you this ID on a full sheet of paper, I need you to crop it and drop it, okay? That is what we're going to do. If it comes to the bill, the company don't need to know all the information. They need to verify the address and the date. So you are going to crop out anything that is unnecessary for your client to hit their to to get it on their documentation. If they have a pass through balance, why are we sending them a bill with pass through balance? But that might be all your client has. You're going to crop it out and you're only going to capture the date and the address. That is it. That is all. Okay. In this particular case, I do have the social security card, so I am going to drop it in there. But the only thing that you're required to do is the proof of identification and proof of address. Any questions, guys? Any questions? No questions? All right, Connie, we about to get to the letter portion. Okay, so I need to know before we get started, is your credit report already in the system? Let me know, let me know. Okay, so who's your credit monitoring? Uh, I had a, a few of them, but I didn't like them. I had a uh, smart credit and then identity IQ. Mm -hmm. well, uh, who yeah, do you it, just, right now? it was just too expensive. Okay. Well, who do you have right now at this moment? Where do you Nobody. have a recent credit report? Okay. Yes. I have a recent credit report from um, TransUnion and Experian. Okay, so just for transparency, guys, no system right now partners with the information from TransUnion and Experian. So you have to have a third-party credit monitoring service, which is either going to be Identity IQ, My Score IQ, or my favorite, Credit Dino. So if you are in the platform, the first thing that you have to do in order to start the process, guys, is to have, if you're doing this for yourself, so let me say this, if you're doing it for yourself, you have to have your credit report. So do you want to, um, are you going to be able to sign up for a credit monitoring tonight or do you want me to just go through and then we circle back? Go through and circle back. Oh. Okay, cool. Beat. So with that being said, Kanye ain't getting her gift today because Connie said she don't got no credit. Mon See how I be trying to gift y'all stuff and y'all just be leaving me all behind and whatnot. It's all right, Connie. It's all right. It's all right, Connie. Because the next class Connie come yeah. into, the next class Connie come into, she only have one gift, one <laughs> gift option. No, no. <laughs> one gift option. All right. So with that being said, guys, if you are using, and one of the, and I'm going to talk about another amazing pro when it comes to credit dino in a second. But if you guys are using identity IQ or my score IQ, you're going to click on file and you're going to click the download or drag and drop your client's file in here. What I want to point out is month after month, you will have to go into that site. So if they're with identity IQ or they're with my score IQ, you would have to go into that site, update the credit report, and then pull the updated credit report into the system. Now you can still store the information. So if they're with identity IQ or or my score IQ or whoever, you can still store the information in here, but the system is not going to pull an updated report. You physically have to do that labor. Now, when you are using Credit Dino, however, we do not uh, dream of labor, okay, honey? So thus and therefore, you don't have to do an extra step by logging into that uh, system. What you would do is the first time that you're working on the platform, you're going to come here and you're going to click one click import. Y'all see this green, this green uh button right here, button, button. This is the option for you to import the first file. When you go to month two, month three, month four, all you're doing is coming back and selecting update. 
That's literally all you're doing is going back, hitting update, and it's updating the new report and pulling that new report in. So you don't have to log into that credit monitoring service, download, and pull back into the system. You literally just come in month after month. The first month, you're doing one-click import. The second month, you're doing an update. Does that make sense? Any questions on that? I need to find a better way to say, does that make sense? Because I feel like I'd be, I'd be sounding crazy. Just don't, don't judge me, y'all. I'm going work, to work on my verbiage, all right? As you guys can see, the system is saying, thank you for using Credit Dino. Woo! You just earned one free credit. That means I can now dispute this month for my client for free. If my client keeps the credit monitoring for next month, I can what? Pull it and dispute again this month for free. So if you are on the pro version, you're getting the three letters for the credit bureau for free. Then you're getting the letters for the creditors for free. Okay? Free, 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 free. Once you've done that, the system is going to register. So you see how that went away for you to import. It's telling, hey, we just got an imported letter on July 17th. And then now you can go to the disputing option. The disputing option is going to automatically select any accounts that are impacting your client's score right now. So the first thing that it starts off is with inquiries, any hard inquiries that are impacting your client's score. I'm going to tell y'all best practice. If the client has an open and active credit card or credit line with that particular company, what we are not going to do is we are not going to dispute that particular account because we run the risk of the account being shut down. However, if the client does not have an open and active account with that particular company credit card or credit line, you can dispute. The exception to this rule is if we're talking about an auto loan or a mortgage. By all means, click away because they ain't coming to get the car and they're not coming to take the house, okay? But what you want to do to verify, instead of scrolling all the way down to check it off, you're going to start at the top. If you are on a Windows-based computer, you're going to do Control-F. If you are on a Mac, such as myself, you're going to do Command-F. What you can do is literally highlight each one of these um, and just kind of drop it in here. If they have an open and active account, it will show. If it shows up one of one, that means it's only in this area. So you would just select it. You can also come over and let's say it's Capital One. It'll tell you how many times Capital One comes in. You can literally click on the arrows down or just select enter and it will take you through for you to see where this person may have an open account. So right here, it says they have a Capital One, it's open. So I'm not gonna dispute that particular account, right? Because it's an open and active account. So you would do this for each one of the inquiries that your client has. If your client had public records, such as an eviction a, um, or a bankruptcy judgment that is showing up under public records, any judgments, you would see it under the inquiries, but before the accounts. This particular client does not have that. Um, so all that's happening right now is the system is checking all of the accounts and saying, hey, some of these accounts have impact. Now, what I want to tell you is that the red means it's negatively impacting the client and it needs to be addressed right away. When you see yellow, this could be just a late payment um a late payment issue. And previously, when we first lost launched the platform, we did not have a late payment verbiage letter. So if the account was open, it's now in good standings, but it did have late payment in there. The only thing that we were able to do was to say, remove this because this is incorrect, right? Or update it. Now we have verbiage that is specific to late payments that's in the system. So you're able to select the account by clicking on this eye icon. You can click on payment history and you can see where is the late payment showing for that particular account. So for instance, late payment is not showing on the TransUnion because TransUnion is at 100%, but Experian is at 96% because back in 2019, they were late four times, right? Equifax is showing that it's 100% payment. 
So if I were to want a late payment letter to be generated for this particular client, I will only be selecting the letter to be generated for Experian. So I would come here, select Experian, and the system will automatically generate the late payment verbiage for me. Okay. Everything else, so even when we're talking about open accounts, the system will automatically pull the information, but I want to be transparent on how everything is working. So number one, one an, an, another feature that, I shouldn't say number one, another feature that Credit Dino offers you is the option of you knowing the payment history and the account help for your client. So I'm going to walk you through like what my consultation sounds like when I have the client's credit report and I can have a full detailed conversation with them. Um, I look at their payment history. Now, number one, payment history is worth 35% of your client's FICO score. That calculation roughly comes up to 192.5 points, okay? If your client is late and it's within that 24-month window, it's impacting their score right now. If it's outside of that 24-month window, then more than likely they have gained the points back. It's just looking like a blemish on their profile. So with that being said, I'm going to have dialogue with you about making payments, setting up auto pay, what that looks like to make sure that you are making the best strategic moves as it pertains to your credit and your profile. So that's number one. I'm going to talk about credit health. We're going to talk about how we're doing, what we need to do, what changes we need to implement. Second thing we're going to talk about is your account health. This is imperative because the road to 700, 800 is based on your available credit. That is worth 30% of your overall score, which translates to 165 points, roughly. The two heaviest weighted portions of your credit score, which is 35 and 30%, which is 65 out of 100, we need to make sure that we're tackling properly. What that means is that if you're wanting to be in the 700 club, your utilization on your overall balances should be at 20% or lower. If you're wanting to be in the 800 club, it should be at 10% or lower. So if I'm seeing a client that's at 80%, we're having conversations about payment. Your payment hack is going to be your number one resource tool when we are talking about your revolving cards. The tip that I always give my clients when we're talking about revolving accounts is if you're making a payment, we need to make that payment correctly. I'll have people say, well, I pay three times in a month. Okay, sis, love that for you. But if you're paying three times in a month, but the system only counts it once a month, are you making sure that when you're making that payment, it's giving you massive movement forward? What that means is a credit card has a statement open and close date or beginning and end date. The goal is to pay two to three days before that statement is about to close. Everybody focuses on the due date. I need everyone to understand the due date is the latest possible day that you can make the payment without a fee being assessed by that creditor. Your statement date is the date that that creditor is going to tell your balances to the credit bureau. So if you paid your payment and you made a thousand, let's say you had a, in this case, this client has a $3,250 credit limit. If she made a payment on the first, she made another payment on the 12th, she made another payment on the 17th. But her statement closes on the 28th. And from the 17th to the 28th, she uses $2,000 on that card. Guess what? On the 28th, when they report, they're not reporting that you made three payments. They're reporting what is your available balance at that time. And that available balance can give you up to 165 points. So what I care about is not how often you pay, which is great. If you pay often, because let's say some people uh, get paid daily and you're using the card over and over again, that is wonderful. What I'm going to tell you is you have to make sure that you're making your payments count and making sure that you're paying before the statement date 
not using your card until the statement closes so that you can get the maximum points in your utilization area. Once your statement date closes on the 28th, you go ahead and use the card on the 29th or the 30th, and you can ball out and use the full $3,250. Just make sure that on the 25th or the 26th, you go in and you pay that down to the lowest common denominator. Does that make sense, guys? Let me know if that if y'all picked up what I put it down and put it in your pocket before I continue. Let me know, let me know. Any questions so far on what we covered, guys? My pleasure, Jamal. That's my, I'm here to help, child. I'm here to help. Okay, Connie says she got it. Now, if you are looking through the platform and let's say you are a seasoned credit repair person and you know that there is a late payment statue of 15297 and you've used this letter so many times and you've gotten collections off, you've gotten charge off off, you've gotten repos off. Wonderful. I'm excited. You're able to come in here and you can actually type that letter out. And not only are you able to type the letter out, you're able to save it for future uses. Okay. So as you're going through the system, you can actually come in here and you can select what folder you want it to be in. You can title it. And that way you can come back. And if you're like, okay, I've used this before. And normally this works in the third round. You can use your dedicated letters to support your clients accordingly. Um, all you'd have to do is hit save. The system will then generate the letter for you. If you change your mind, you just hit remove and you're good to go. Okay. Once you have told the system what to dispute, you can then tell them how to dispute. So you hit save filter, you will go to the attack. If you are brand new, I'm going to give you a quick tip. Track your work, okay? So you'd be able to come into the system. You can see that the first letter you're going to pick is the punch of fury. The level of attack is going to be supreme boosted. You're going to select start round. You're going to go to punch of fury. And just to kind of give you an idea, the letters tell you what's going on. So it'll tell you um, if you're doing pinwheel, it's seven negative items per letter up to 10 inquiries. So if your client has 14 um, negative items and, 10, and 20 inquiries, then they're going to get two letters for that credit bureau, not just one. So it's not going to not send out the letters. It's going to split the, the amounts within the letter capacity. Punch of Fury gives your clients, sorry, Punch of Fury gives the personal information letter, gives you an inquiry letter, and then an everything else letter, okay? So you're able to see what these letters can give you. You would select Punch of Fury. Round one says it's supposed to be handwritten. It's first class. It does not need to be in colored. It is single-sided and it goes out the first day. So you'd come here, you'd click handwritten. If you had the pro version, you would simply check this box and the system will automatically generate letters for the creditors if you're using pro and credit lineup, okay? The first letter is Supreme Boosted. So you're gonna hit that option. You're gonna hit save. I'm sorry, you're gonna hit start round. You're gonna type confirm. And then the letter is going to be generated for you. For the second, for the other credit reporting agencies, LexisNexis and Novus, you'd have to come into the system, select start round again. You're going to go to static letters. You're going to select handwritten. Best practice is I scroll down to the bottom and work my way up. So I would select Factor Trust, Microbuild, Data X, Clarity, Credco, ARS. LCI, a Novus, and LexisNexis. And you're going to hit start round. This, If you have a dollar in the account, the system will generate the letter. I ain't got a dollar, y'all, because I just did my dispute for free. So the system ain't going to generate those letters for me. But you can go ahead and select download. Please be aware that if you do not download it or you do not tell the system to mail the letters out, this letters is going to sit here nothing is going to happen. So you have to tell the system what to do. If you're mailing it out yourself, you're gonna select the download option. 
if you're going to have the system mail it out for you, you'll click mail out and this is gonna tell you what the cost is for your letters. So you'd be able, if you wanna change it from first class to certified mail, you can see it here. So you can come into the system and load the amount that you would need for the system to mail the letters out to you. Again, none of the letters have to be in color, so you can keep it as no. But if you wanted it to be in colored, it's going to cost you $88.36 if it's certified mail, single-sided, and in color. If you like me, you can print it out, okay? And you don't have to worry about that, but it's completely up to you. So these are the letters that you would get for your client. You would hit uh, pay. It will take it from your bucket that you have, and you're good to go. Okay. Um, once the letter has been generated, you also have the history tab, which shows you what has been, what the system has generated. Again, the system automatically defaults to it has been downloaded automatically. Okay. You can see the credit report. You can see the credit score, um, the changes within the credit score. You can see the invoices. You can see the notes. And the notes is a pro feature. So what I do is, let's say um, I sent out a letter to LexisNexis, Novus, LCI, ARS, all of those other credit reporting agencies. But I got a letter back that my client doesn't have a file with Clarity and doesn't have a file with DataX. So in the notes section, I would put that information in there so that when I go back to do the next round of letters, I don't generate a letter for a company that my client doesn't have any relationship with. Make sense? So we have now loaded our, like opened the account. We've loaded ourselves in the system. We've generated our first letter. What questions, concerns, or comments do you guys have for me so far? Let me know. It's an open floor for y'all to ask any questions you guys have tonight. Any questions? Mm -hmm. Mr. Sosa, I know you said this was new for you. Do you have any questions, my love? Today, I sent out um, all my letters. Um, but I had like nine. <laughs> so, but no, I sent out my static letter today. But Good. the other day, I used the system to mail my shit. Because I, 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 I was still nervous. And I was clicking, clicking, clicking. I messed up, but I didn't certify. But like I said, my credit's not that bad. I'm, a, I'm at the upper 600 club um, level. So it was like, I only got like four things on my credit to try to remove. So it was only like six dollars okay. for me to um to to set it out. Out. come on somebody. Come on, somebody. Yeah. I love I'm that. I'm so excited. And one was a student loan, so I know my student loan, I know they ain't going nowhere. But the other um, things it's like so have, you, like, have you consolidated your student loans and have you applied for the payment plan? No, not you. No, I haven't. Okay. Don't worry, we'll have a class for that coming up soon. Okay. Uh, Cause I like, I've had three people ask me that question this month. So we're gonna figure that out. Um, the question in the chat, I'm so, Katrina, I just wanna say I'm proud of you, friend. I, you did it scared and I'm super duper proud of you, Trina. Like you, you real MVP today. Um, the question in the chat for Mr. Smith was how do you mail the letters out yourself? You click this download button right here that says download all. It will download into your system. You'd be able to open the zip file and then you'll be able to see the letters for each one of your clients, for each one of the credit bureaus. If you have the pro, you'll see the credit bureau as well as the creditors as well. And it gives you the letter format as well. Um, great. Yep. Miss Connie asked if she can, if I can download this view pen on my phone. The answer is no. Currently, we do not have an app available for the phone. Any other questions? Any questions, guys? Let me know. It's my pleasure, Mr. Smith. Ooh. Oh, 
okay, that's why. But I signed up for sure. So, okay, so you signed up on your computer is what you're saying. That's fine. But you, yeah, you would have to get the credit monitoring service uh, before you can actually dispute. You need that. It's a two, a twofold situation. Okay. How much is it again? Um, if you get, if you go to the dashboard and you sign up for the affiliate link, it's twenty nine ninety nine a month, which means in your case, you would, of course, you would get a free letter because you're paying twenty nine. You're getting the seventeen dollar credit. And then you're getting paid the $8 for you being on there. Okay. So you'd have to log into your platform and then um, make sure you become an affiliate and then use your own link for you to get your reimbursement. Okay. 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 Great question. Great question. Any other questions, guys? No other questions? Jamal, you good, my love? Are you good, Jamal? I am good. You explained it and got me got me excited, so I'm ready to go. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Oh, why I look like I got into a fight? I didn't get into a fight, y'all. My six-year-old beat me up. Don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> look, I be testing <laughs> with six-year-olds, okay? I, sometimes I win, sometimes I don't. Uh, <laughs> but... Um, what I wanted to say is take the time, go through the platform. I'm here every Monday and Wednesday if you guys need help um, with going through the platform for the free version. My goal is to make sure that you guys are in the system, utilizing the system, and executing on the back end. So you only get to come in here a couple of times and tell me that you ain't did nothing for me to be like, what you mean you ain't moving in these streets? Okay. Because the, the information is only going to work for you if you work it, okay? Like Missy Elliott. If it's worth it, let it work. I put my Who going to the Missy Elliott concert? Because I just need to know who else is being futuristic with me, okay? Because I'm going. And I'm going to make sure I got a good, good weave that's like sticking up or something. I got to figure something out, okay? But I'm going to the... Let me tell you how they messing up our pockets, okay? Real quick, don't judge my life, y'all. Because I'm still going to see Chris Brown. I'm still going to see Missy It. Who else Who else got a concert today, friend? Somebody else got a concert. I was going to see Anita Baker, but she keep canceling. Her new her new name, her nickname is going to be Lauren Hill in a minute, okay? Because I apologize, but I she on time when I put it on, on my Amazon, okay? So it, I think there's another concert. Isn't there another concert? Keisha, know... uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, Keys had a concert on Amazon today. You said Alicia Keys? Yeah, she had a concert. I don't love her that much. She cool. She cool and everything. She cool and everything. But uh, no, that wasn't who I wanted to see. There was somebody. I'm going oh. to see the Fugees. You know who? I would, if Lauren Hill gonna be late, you I could watch her at home. She's in the name good. of Jesus, in the name, she's on time right now. She says she's working on being better. And and when she has when she has successfully worked on it, I shall I shall donate my coinage. I shall. I'm donate. going to see Missy Elliott because I always wanted to see Busta Rhymes and he's gonna be there. Right? And that's my too. listen. Me too. When Me I was too. young, I met Busta Rhymes when I was nine years old, and I said I was going to marry him. Okay, oh, nine years old, I was in the studio, and I told my daddy that that was going to be my husband. Okay, my husband looked very similar to Busta Rhymes. Don't judge my life. <laughs> Just, he got his wife and my husband got me okay <laughs> but i think oh i think i want to go to escape concert because that's the next concert no you I don't think. and i wanted to go no oh, you don't he said i don't bad? it's bad oh lord you gonna escape but swv oh. is there and i heard maya is that she done got me sweating she said you're gonna escape <laughs> don't do it Okay, well, the other concert I was going to go to, wait. What DMX you know? say, don't do it, dog. It's just not worth it. I am not. Oh my God. I, what, what's, what's the word? What's the word, Jane? That's crazy. That's crazy. No. The other concert. The other, well, you should tell your man to give us some tickets. Ain't no, I don't know why you got a boyfriend and he ain't giving us no extra tickets. The other concert that I was going to go to was Usher because me and him was married since we was 14. Okay. And he done messed up and been with everybody else. So eventually, you know, he'll figure out that I was the right one, but it's too late because Mr. David already took me. Okay. But I, oh, I thought that was my husband walking in the room. It's not. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> 
He know what I be saying. He watch these replays. He know I'm silly. Uh, don't worry about that, y'all. Oh my but, god. But make sure y'all are having a good time and make sure that y'all are coming in and implementing because that is my goal that we offer a safe space for you guys to ask questions and get things done. But yes, I'm going to concerts. 2024 for me is all about doing things that I have never done before. And the last time I went to a concert, I was five. So in my mind, I ain't never been to a concert because it was Michael Jackson and my daddy again. My daddy was in the music industry, okay? So that concert don't count because I wasn't even in, I wasn't allowed on the floor i was in the back looking at michael jackson moonwalk from the back his jerry curl hit me right here it hit me right right here so i want to go to a concert where i'm actually i'm actually right there okay i did see cat williams but i don't count that as a concert i need someone to moonwalk or flip over my head and and like sweat hit me for me to feel like i'm at a concert in the name of jesus so we so we're 86 in escape at this present time until we get further reviews. And nothing good in Texas is, is coming up. I'm I'm looking for Texas concerts. I don't see nobody good but Te for Timberlake. Oh t is t wait, is Timberland on, on tour? Yeah, I and mean, he's gonna be here in Texas. Um no. no. I think on their tour. But he's supposed to be on the tour with Missy. Don't nobody want to see I'm sorry. People yeah. want to see Timberland, but we want to see him with Missy. It that that's that's the Missy Tim Magoo, all of them. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. I need to know what Daisy's gonna come because I want to see him with Missy, not by himself. I don't want to see him with Sierra. I want to see him expect. I need him to to December. Right. I need December him 24. and I need Justin Timberlake to come outside and cry us a river as a special act. That's what I need right there. And Omarion to come out with his ice box mm -hmm. where his heart used to be. Okay, that's uh, that's a necessity. I came to the Millennium Tour in Texas, girl. That's over. Now, what you're not going to do is crush my hopes and dreams as I'm trying to build my 2024 what to do roster. You see what I'm saying? That's uh, why you don't invite people into your life like this, because this was <laughs> what they do. Oh, God. She said, Jeremiah, listen, my niece over here talking about all the people that can't. Now, what you're not going to do is we putting this on, on, on the YouTube. What you're not going to do is get me banned from some stuff. I appreciate all of y'all. All of y'all that can and cannot sing. I want to clarify and say for y'all, in my mind, y'all sing wonderfully. Okay. And for all of those that are on time, I will buy a ticket because at least you respect my coinage enough to show up on time. Okay. So, so that was that was a prep. You can't, you see how some people be saying, don't don't worry about nobody worrying about your prep start okay because his, his prep was a little bad okay but he, when he was in concert and he was with them other things he was doing a great job so with that being said y'all if y'all ain't got no more questions i'm gonna go because my my niece over here finna get me canceled on these uh, here you don't want that you beyonce don't want treats that. on this beyonce internet <laughs> uh-uh I never saw Beyonce in concert. I don't know if I ever want to see her in concert. I don't know. Oh, I don't want to see Beyonce in concert. I no. love her though. I love her though. Why do I not want to see Beyonce in concert? I don't know. Because... She, to me, she do the same steps over and over again. She is just she got always tied up in the you know the corset and all that other stuff. They and just on her head. Canceled. She ain't doing nothing. Yeah, she's they finna doing... get me. I can't her birthday with Beyonce, so I I don't know. Oh, you six nine two eight friend. I mean, not wait. Is it nine four or is it nine twelve? Eight something. Eight. Eight. Nine four. Nine, nine four. four. See, I knew. Four, I knew. I, it was September. I I, I, have, it September. I got her birthday CD. Yes, I do. I know. I got her birthday CD. Okay. I don't roll that out. Be Beyonce, the the statements that are made on these here internets is not by me or Dispute Panda. Please invite us to your platform because we ain't gonna play with these people. Okay. Uh, but no, I don't want to go to a Beyonce concert because I I feel like. I don't have enough. I don't know. I don't want to spend the capital that I feel I'm gonna have to spend in order to be in a beyond. Cause I want if it's if it's if it's silver, I'm going silver. I want you to understand I'm coming there looking like a spaceship. Okay. I'm coming <laughs> there looking like a futuristic spaceship. Okay. And I'm just not gonna spend, I'm gonna spend all the money on the tickets and I'm coming up here looking like a spaceship flying where? Where am I flying to? No, ma'am. You will not get me like that. Okay. If I go to other places, I just gotta put on a nice little outfit. Okay. Go from an infant to an outfit. Jamal say it's worth it. worth it. I believe it, Jamal. I believe that I'm going to get all of the things I hey, need. I to ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I 
I told my wife I wasn't doing it. And, then and you I, went. And then, and then I went and I said, man, I, I ain't going to never deny myself again that experience. You got to now, go let me see tell you something. I want to go. I want to go because I saw at one of her things, she came from up in the sky, yo. Okay. And God made me a fun size snack for me to be a part of the earth. But I'm like, hey, somebody got to go up there and touch the skies and touch the Lord and then come bring down Jesus with them. And that's what right. she does for y'all. Okay. That's what she does. So for as it for be for me, however, I know that after I pay for them front seat tickets, I've got to pay for the spaceship outfit and the shoes. And I'm going to have to have two shoes because I'm going to have to need my shoes to get into the location and then my shoes for me to dance my big behind up out the location. <laughs> I can't deal with you today. <laughs> so I want to be honest with y'all that I, I'm i not in the right price bracket for Beyonce because I'm going to have to show when I tell you when I go to Beyonce I'm showing all the way out okay my natural hair we are not and I'm going to bring my own fan it's going to be attached to my spaceship so that while I'm walking, the breeze is blowing and my long, luxurious, real hair is going to be flowing. See, this is the problem. I already have it in my... But if I go to Missy Elliott, I know I can make my own spaceship. She loves the artistic you creative wear a trash what bag. I could do. No, I'm not going to wear a trash bag because I don't like... That's not the Missy Elliott that I want to that I want to represent. But I know I can pull off Missy Elliott at a good Target rate. You okay, have to I worry pull... about her bringing her children on, on stage to dance. That's one thing. I'm not. You see how she? The words that have been told by Connie is not to be referenced. I plead the fifth by Raquel May David or this few panda. Please invite us, Beyonce, to anything that you have going on. By the way, my company can help your people in that new uh, establishment that you got over there because I'm in Texas anyway. In the name of Jesus, you know you got to plug. Texas too. What she you don't want. even gotta... come to Texas to stay in Texas. She See, I'm not playing. Goodbye. On that note, I'm finna let y'all go because Connie finna get me canceled on these Beyonce Street internet. Jamal, I want to say thank you for coming. We are normally not this rowdy. I love I'm you lying. all. Thank you. I'm lying. We y'all. always this rowdy, Jamal. Just I understand. can tell. I can tell. Connie get in. We it are goes down on Club rowdy. Panda. You hear me? Yeah, I very see, much I so. See. If Whoever's you in Texas, holla. Hey. Uh, <laughs> if y'all have any questions, comments, or concerns, please come I'm, back. I'm next good to day. next time. You I'll gonna, harass you next time. I, you better come. And, okay. and when you come, Connie, I'm going to be asking you for your uh, stuff. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, Loyalty, ma'am. what's your crew looking like? Y'all good over there? We smooth. Okay. Okay, I, like I did a Zoom with them earlier. That's why I was late getting on here. And they either going to get ready or they not. But I'm going to start next week. Okay. I'll be ready next week. Okay. I get yeah, my box. Where is my box? Don't look at her. Sure no, we, you know box, what? Girl? You want to know something? Her box is going to be missing some things. We're going to make sure her box is missing some things. I'm she, are we not taking all that stuff out okay my niece said you're gonna get everything in the box no i'm waiting for one more booklet to come in before i send out the box because i want okay, you guys thank to you welcome. i'm not sending her box honey 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 for all of those that are in the mentorship that are watching the replay thank you guys for being a part of the mentorship the box goes out on saturday because the book comes in on friday y'all will be getting an email letting you know that it's in route to you and i am so thankful that you guys allow me to help you be a beast in these credit streets okay thank bye. you you welcome bye y'all <laughs> all right, so I'll take it uh, good night bye. everybody have good, good night, night.